Hello children, hello children, how are you? How are you? I thank you for tuning in today. Thank you for tuning in today. How are you? How are you? How do you feel today? Really? Well, I am so happy that you are in a great mood and you're feeling positive. I have a very nice story to read for you. Today. So in some stories, they have a problem and the character comes up with a solution. So today we're going to be reading Henny Penny and Henny Penny has a problem. So Henny Penny does some brainstorming and along with some friends, they come up with a solution. But they meet Foxy Loxy on the way. And Foxy Loxy also has a problem in this story. And he decides that he has to come up with a solution too. So in this story, there's two problems and two solutions. But the end of the story is going to be pretty tricky and something that you would never expect. So hold on. Let's get started. Did you hear that? You know exactly what that means. Let's go to our thinking board so we may learn more about problem and solution. Let's go to our thinking board. Thinking board, thinking board. Problem is what goes wrong, a challenge or an obstacle. Solution is how the problem is fixed or solved. Let's give it a try. Sam hit his head and got a big bump. What should he do to fix the problem? He got an ice pack and put it on his head. Do you think that's the proper way to solve the problem? I think that's definitely a part of the solution. Henny Penny retold by Bonnie Dopkin. Hetty Penny lived with her friends in a wonderful kingdom of forests, meadows, and ponds. It was as perfect a place as you could imagine, unless you were Hetty Penny. One morning, Henny Penny was talking with her friend, Ducky Lucky. The sun was shining and the sky was blue. Breezes played with the leaves of the trees. What a perfect day, said Ducky Lucky. Yes, said Henny Penny. I just hope it doesn't get too hot or too windy. Oh, or, my goodness, what if it rains? Ducky Lucky shook his head. You worry too much. Why don't you go look for something to eat? All right, sighed Henny Penny. I suppose I could hunt for some nice, crunchy bugs. So Henny Penny waddled down the road, picking and flicking and pecking and checking. Finally, she stopped under an old oak tree. Bugs and grubs were everywhere. Well, these look tasty, said Henny Penny. I only hope I don't get sick from eating too much. Just then, the wind puffed through the branches of the old oak tree. It loosened an acorn. The acorn fell straight down and collapsed. It hit Henny Penny on the head. Ouch, cried Henny Penny. What was that? She looked around, but didn't see anything. My goodness, the sky must be falling. I must go and tell the king. So the acorn here hit her on the head, and we see a sound word, which is called an onomatopoeia. Can you say onomatopoeia? Good job. So the sound word is kalunk. So it hit her on the head. And now she doesn't really realize it was just an acorn. She thinks. What does she think? You're right. She thinks that the sky is falling. Well, I hope she's able to determine exactly what happened. 
Let's see what happens next in the story. Henny Penny fluttered back down the road. Soon she passed the pond where her friend was still swimming. What's wrong? asked Ducky Lucky. Henny Penny didn't even stop. The sky is falling! The sky is falling? I must go and tell the king. Are you sure? asked Ducky Lucky. I remember when you lost a feather and you thought that your wing was coming off. Look at this bump on my head, said Henny Penny. I tell you, the sky is falling. Then I'll come with you, said Ducky Lucky, and he jumped out of the pond. Soon they came upon Turkey Lurkey, who was gobbling berries from a bush. What's the matter, he said. Why are you running? The sky is falling, said Henny Penny and Ducky Lucky. We must go and tell the king. Are you sure, asked Turkey Lurkey. I remember when you, Ducky Lucky, believes me, said Henny Penny. Besides, look at the bump on my head. Well, said Turkey Lurkey, if you have a bump on your head and Ducky Lucky believes you, then it must be true. He spit out the berries and joined them. Next, they saw Goosey Lucy arranging some twigs in her nest. What's the matter? She said. Why are you running? The sky is falling, cried Henny Penny, Ducky Lucky, and Turkey Lurkey. We must go and tell the king. Are you sure? Asked Goosey Lucy. I remember. <gasps> Look at the bump on my head, said Henny Penny. I tell you, the sky is <gasps> falling. Well, said Goosey Lucy, if you have a bump on your head and Ducky Lucky believes you and Turkey Lurkey has joined you, then it must be true. And she began waddling beside them as fast as she could. The four friends were near the forest. Cocky Locky was roosting on the tree branch, practicing his crop. What do you think they're going to say to Cocky Locky? Hmm. Do you think they're going to tell him that the sky is falling? Do you think he's going to believe them? Do you think he's going to join them to go tell the king? Well, let's see. What's the matter, he asks. Why are you running? The sky is falling! Cry, Henny Penny, Ducky Lucky, Turkey Lurkey, and Goosey Lucy. We must go and tell the king. Are you sure? Asked Cocky Locky. Look at this bump on my head, said Henny Penny. The sky is definitely falling. Well, said Cocky Locky, if you have a bump on your head, and Ducky Lucky believes you, and Turkey Lurkey has joined you, and Goosey Lucy says it's so, then it must be true. And he fluttered down from the branch. Henny Penny really convinced all of her friends that the sky was falling. Let's see what happens when she sees Foxy Loxy. Now the five friends hurried into the forest and they had gone only a little way when Foxy Loxy stepped out from the clutter of trees. Oh my, he said. 
You all look distressed. Whatever is the matter. Hmm. Do you think Foxy Loxy may try to convince them that the sky is not falling? Or is Foxy Loxy going to join them? Let's see. The sky is falling! <gasps> Cry Henny Penny, Ducky Lucky, Turkey Lurky, Goosey Lucy, and Cocky Locky. We must go and tell the king. Why, of course you must, said Foxy Loxy. Listen, my friends, I know the king very well. And I also know a shortcut to the palace. So, follow me. There isn't a moment to lose. Hmm. Take a look at Foxy Loxy. Does he look trustworthy? Do you think you can trust Foxy Loxy? Or do you think he has a secret up his sleeve? What do you think he's going to do to the friends? Is he really going to help them? Or does he have some other plans? The fox led them further into the woods down a twisty turning trail. Are we almost there? Asked Henny Penny. Almost, said Foxy Loxy, but oh dear, you all look so tired. Should we stop at my den for a moment? You can meet my family and rest for a while. Yes, please, said Henny Penny, Ducky Lucky, Turkey Lurky, Goosey Lucy, and Cocky Locky. Mmm. So the fox stopped them. He notices that they were under distress. He tells them that he knows the king very well, and he also knows a shortcut. So the friends think that he is trustworthy, and they decide to follow him to take a shortcut to the palace. But now, hmm, Foxy Loxy has a new plan, and he thinks it's a good idea for the friends to take a rest in his den. Hmm, let's see what happens next. Right this way, said Foxy Loxy. As they walked, he told them about his lovely wife, Roxy Loxy, and he told them about the four little Loxies, Moxie, Soxy, Poxy, and Doxy. <gasps> Those are nice rhyming words. What he didn't tell them was that all five were sitting around the dining table waiting for Foxy Loxy to bring home dinner. <gasps> you don't suppose that Foxy Loxy are bringing the friends home for dinner, do you? Well, here we are, said Foxy Loxy, stopping in front of the low rock ledge. He bowed and waved his arm towards the dark opening underneath. And Henny Penny, Ducky Lucky, Turkey Lurky, Goosey Lucy, and Cocky Locky all marched down into the fox's den. What do you suppose is going to happen when they go into his den? Hmm. Do you think his family's going to be there? and welcome all the friends into their home? Or do you think there's another plan? Now, two things didn't happen after that. The sky didn't fall and no one met the king. But Foxy Loxy's family still talk about the wonderful feast that they had that day. Would you look at those bellies? What do you think happened? I think so too. Good thing is just a story. The end. And when the story's over and when we reach the end, 
We live happily ever after in the land of make pretend. Bum bum bubbly bum. La 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 la. And when the story's over and when we reach the end, if you think you like the story and you wanna read it again, just hit like, subscribe, and right before your eyes, you can watch it over again and again. Let's check for understanding. What was the problem in the story? And when Foxy Loxy became involved, what was the solution? What solution did Henny Penny have before meeting Foxy Loxy? Wow, you really came with your thinking cap on and I am so happy that you decided to tune in again. Don't forget our next upload will be coming soon. So make sure that your notifications are on and that you watch your email so that we may share this wonderful time together again. Until next time, so long.